There's the pickup stack. Epper nine ready. Languages. We have five sub, one dub only, and two hybrid. Let's move on to disco delivery. And we start off in chronological order, going from one, two, three. But we already covered two, so watch last video for that. So for this one, we'll start off with one. A Thousand and One Nights. Currently released by Discotech Media. Boop it out. So we have the fronts, the spines, the other spines, ten in the back. We put a slip cover down and open the jack to see a triplicate of art for the disc and what the UK used for their release of A Thousand and One Nights. This was one of the first experimental films with a, a newly rediscovered dub that was part of Osama Tezka's experimental series to try to create adult animation in the market way before Fritz the Cat. We covered two which surprisingly according to Belladonna of Sadness he put a lot of resources into Cleopatra or Cleopatra the Queen of Sex if you want to go by the uh, US release of this. So we already covered that so let's cover the last of the Anime Rama trilogy which uh, Thomas Seska started this one however he bailed on it. Who knows what and why at that time. So for this one not gonna lie this is not for kids. It involves the story of a woman getting raped and a talking devil penis. Front, spine, back. And I want to point out this company right here. According to the booklet, Elijah Wood funded that company. And for those wondering, ooh, I'm showing this. Naked female. Well, one, no nipple, no foul. Two, no slit, no clit. Who gives a shit? And let's move inside. Ah, uh, yes. Her following the soldiers of, I believe, the Catholic Church. I have not seen this. We open it up and we see watercolor art. However, here there are nipples, so there are fells in this very, uh, honestly, this is very awesome to read. It talks about the anime history behind this trilogy and of the times and what people were trying to seek out to create this new of. Mentioning A Clockwork Orange and The Beatles' Yellow Submarine. So front and back. Close it up and this is the Anime Rama Trilogy. Lupin the Third the secret of the Twilight Gemini. All right, so as you can see, kind of a triple threat of the same artwork. When this was released in the first hall, this was uncensored. We open it up and kind of see, once again, the same kind of, well, art as before. In order to avoid the cut only, I had to get the uncut, which it says it's empty, but it's not. So we have the front, spine, back again, and once again, the same sort of art. Well, no, this is different. Sort of. And next we have the discotheque release. The fronts. The spines. The other spines. And then we have the backs. The vintage year of Lupin of when it's made. Now we open it up to see, well, just like before, more of the same, the same, the same, the same, the same work. What I like about this one is it includes the cut and uncut versions and it's got a remastered so it's not as digitized as before. And let's loop away with the Louis Lupin that's here to stay. Oh, Dinkoga, 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 the Super Beast Machine God. I'll explain why it's like this in a sec, but let's cover the original release from Discotech that was on DVD. We have the fronts, we have the spines. We flip it to see the other spines. Then we have the backs. Set the slip cover down and open it to see disc one, two, three, four, and disc five and six. That extra art in there. Yeah. And this was the DVD, which only includes the TV series. This one includes the TV series and a few OVAs, but not all of them. Okay, why is it like this? Not gonna lie, the slip cover is too tight on the Blu-ray. If condoms were made this way, there would be lawsuits. So I gotta pull this out. I'm surprised I was able to keep this in mint shape. So we have fronts, the spines, the other spines, and the back. Open it up to see disc one, disc two, disc three, and disc four, as this kind of mocks what the DVD cover front was. And the OVAs that were included were Wequiem for Vicious Blazing, epilogue one through four. And with that, we sort of put this Together, I'm leaving it as this. And Dankoga, away! Oh, hey. There ain't enough room around here for the two of us, so we have Hana Sakeru Shishonin, which is apparently the best descriptor everyone keeps saying is Dallas the anime. So let's poop it out. And if there's no JR, then what's the point? As we have 
Two different artworks. For the front, the spans. The spans. And the back, partner. Set this down, open it up. Let's see, disc one and the return of the awesome disc holder I like for Blu-ray. I'm, I'm loving this. Mmm, feels good. So disc one, disc two, and disc three. Open it up to see, well, kind of like the Marrow's Place or the 90210. Insert artwork. Put this back in. Ooh, there's a flaw right there. Ooh, yeah. Now to make sure this is facing this way in order to cover it. If it's like that, it catches. Ooh, that is scary. Put up the drama that is Hana Sakeru Shishonen. Whoa. Big order! Yeah, this is the one with the OVA that's mixed up in a random fashion, which I will point out later during this clip, which I might have made a mistake in an earlier video, but I'll correct it. So, it's time to deliver a big order out of the pack, which gives us a blue and purple artwork. Spines, spines, and it's from Crunchyroll as their partnership. And we see the back. Set to slip down and open the jack to see something very reminiscent of Argento Sama artwork on the disc. And some black and white art, tinted blue with looks like a skeleton, as some sort of mummy demon, and a crest of the show. And now I'll show the order of the OVA. That's a very confusing order. Let's put this big order back. And go away. The only one that is not a discotheque title is U2 Strikes Back Evolution. The legend returns. Fronts, spines, spines, and the backs. Open it up. So what they did for U2 Strikes Back in this version is they recreated it in 3D. Netflix got the rights from Viz to show it on their platform. And as always, the ever cool Misty is in 3D and Brock the Pokemon Breeder, even though I've never seen him match and breed Pokemon, is also there as well. And with that, Mewtwo in-game. Once again, to show off all to the galore, remember to share with your friends and comment too, as I leave you with this tidbit of a... Uh... Like, subscribe, ring that bell. Join my Twitter and Facebook detail to know me well.